Hello, I'm here to show you guys how I assemble these chip bags. This is a customized chip bag that was made for a Nerf theme party. These are the other chip bags that haven't been folded yet. These have been folded, you see the creases, so that you can easily put your chips inside. We're gonna be placing some popcorn inside of the chip bag. So if you look and see, I have designed and customized this chip bag for popcorn. So see little popcorns inside. Um, I've also made some Pringle cans for this um, party. Some M&M minis. Some Skittle boxes. Mike and Ike's. And some Gatorade bottles. But right now, we're, this video is mainly to show you guys how we assemble the chip bag. So let's get it going. So the first thing I'm going to do is you'll fold the sides. I already fold both sides so I know exactly where to lay my chips. I lay the chips down flat and your chips is going to go inside like so. And you guys know from my other video with the goldfish, I like to put a little line in the middle just to hold the chips in place. So I like to use my glue gun. I place a little glue in the middle. Then I just fold my chips over. I put a little glue on the left side. I match them up. So nutrition facts, nutrition facts. I hold the glue down. Make sure my bag isn't going anywhere. And then I seal the up opposite side. Once you seal it, you make sure you hold it down until it dries. If you do not hold the glue down, it will slide. So I'm holding my bag down, making sure that I have a secure bond. Once it's secured, I place it to the side. I do not seal my top and my bottom until I completely do all of the chip bags. So let's do another one. Place the chip template sheet down, add a little glue, add your popcorn inside, glue one side down, hold it down for about five to ten seconds, then you hold the opposite side. You glue it and you hold it down. The good thing about the glue gun is you can easily wipe away any excess glue that's on there you can easily wipe it away and it will not damage the bag, as you can see. You can easily wipe it off. Hold it down. Make sure it's secured. And we move it to the side. Get another chip bag. And we do the same thing. Put one side down. Fold the other side, fold it down, make sure it's closed, make sure it's sealed, and you can move on to the next one. Now for some people, some people are scared to use a glue gun, some people feel as if the glue gun is going to burn their fingers. Listen, if you're scared to get burned, then I don't know what to tell you. This is the quickest way, quickest method to seal any treat is with your glue gun. But I will show you guys after I glue these down how you can secure it with tape. But the, for me, the glue gun takes less hassle, less time, and you have a secure seal. You don't have to worry about your chip bags opening, especially if, you, if they have to travel and you have to ship them off. You don't have to worry about the client getting the chip bags and them complaining that, oh, the chip bag popped open. Because that can happen if you use the tape. Let's go ahead and finish gluing this other one down. Small popcorn. Hold 
sold it. Isn't that paper is so cute? Customized design by Avis Party Favors. Look at that gloss. It looks very, very nice. Seal that bag down. On to the next one. These have not been folded yet. I'm going to show you guys how I fold it. I simply fold like so. Flip it. And then you fold. You want to make sure that your words are showing on the back and you're not cutting off any words in the front. Then I just put a little streak of glue. Put my chips inside. Glue on side down first. And as you guys can see, the chips are never opened at all. Add a, let me add a, a glue stick in there. So everything is left sealed. I seal my bag. I hold it down. If you're scared to get burned, and use tape. This is the fastest and easiest method is to use the glue gun. Now I'm going to show you guys how I seal my chip bags. Okay, so now it's glued. This is the second part. I place glue inside and I smooth it out because you want your seal to be smooth and you don't want no bumps and no ridges. And I just proceed to, while it's hot, I press it down. See? And if you want a complete hole, I usually just slide it underneath my cutting board and place it there like, like so, so that you know it's a, a, a true bond, a true seal, that it's not gonna open up at all. So I just grab another chip bag. You can see the glue inside of there. And I do the same thing. See? It's completely sealed. Move that one out the way. Let that one rest underneath this cutting board. And now I do the top. Press down in the middle and slide your fingers over. And you have a perfect seal. Press it down if you're scared. Look at that. Isn't that cute? Perfect, perfect, perfect. It's closed perfectly. Let's do one more. I added the glue on the top. Press it down. And push it over. And now it's sealed perfectly. If you want to put it underneath there, you can put it underneath there. If not, it's still perfect. See how perfect the chip bags look? Front and back. They will not open at all. Now I'm going to show you guys how you seal the chip bag with double-sided tape. This is a double-sided tape. You can use this one or you can use score tape. This has tape on it. And I'm gonna show you how to put it without glue. You simply take your chip, place it in the middle, like so, and you fold it over. So I fold this over, like that, and then you fold this one over with the tape and you hold it down see now you gotta make sure you push it down because it's tape now I don't know if you guys can see that really good but it does has adhesive on there it has double sided tape so now all you have to do is is press down the chip bag press it down and then you do the other side. Press it 
it down. Now this is why I don't like tape. You see how I said it can open a little? So you just gotta make sure you work your fingers in there with that tape. But you can achieve the look with double-sided tape. Okay? This is with the double-sided tape. And this is with the glue gun. You can put the chip bags together with tape if you do not want to use double-sided. If you don't want to use glue. You can put it together like that. So, thank you guys for watching. I'm going to go ahead and finish up this client's order. It's a double-sided tape. And it's with a glue gun. All customized. If you want to learn how to make party favors the A-list way, take our one-on-one -on -one class. Thanks for watching. So these are the Nerf chip bags that I made for Fella. All customized chip bags. He has a dozen of chip bags. Then he has the Pringle cans with the customized lids. All for the Nerf theme. He has his pictures on there. Beautiful. Then I have some Skittle boxes. He has a variety of flavors. Sour, original, sweet and sour. Then he has the Mike and Ike's, different flavors. And they say Stella and Ike, and Stella Mike and Ike's. He has his picture on there, all customized. Then he has his Gatorades, all customized with the Nerf theme. And of course, the Gatorades are waterproof, so they can submerge them in the water and put them in the um, buckets and nothing will happen to them. And then you have your Stella milk chocolate minis, and then minis, all customized with the theme, all for the birthday boy. So place your orders today with A-List Party Savers. Check out our website, go on our Instagram, A-List Party Savers. Check out our YouTube page. If you wanna learn how to make customized party favors, we have one-on-one -on -one sessions available. All the info is listed on our website. So until next time, Thanks for watching.